Aminator of My Duke and I podcast and wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a wonderful day and you have not seen me for a very long time. Yes, I've been sick. I did get COVID for the very first time. But anyways, I am doing excellent. I have to count my blessings, name them one by one. My kids were very, very helpful through all of this they were um you know just very responsive and taking good care of their mom so that was a blessing indeed and um i'm on the men's and i'm happy to god be the glory um and <laughs> it's just so ironic that while i am down and out that is when we have such exciting news about the Sussexes. Um, the two trailers, Harry's Christmas uh, message <laughs> in his Spider-Man outfit, all of these things happened and when I was sick. But that doesn't mean I wasn't looking, nor did I not enjoy them because they certainly lifted my spirit, absolutely first trailer was beautiful but today i'm just going to talk about the second trailer which was just amazing it really gave us an insight into what the structure of the show is going to be like some of the people that's going to be on the show so you know though i really enjoyed you know watching megan and some of the photos that we had never seen before it was sort of like at the same time bittersweet because i know the pain that megan suffered during her time in britain i remembered when they had literally pitted her father against her and every time she had to go on an engagement they would come up with a story and torment her and it was just a horrible and um so that's the reason why i said it's bittersweet it's certainly more bitter for me because nobody should ever have to suffer through such pain should be demonized and dehumanized like how they did megan you know and um it's unfortunate but um, what I'm most grateful for is that here, this very black biracial person that they counted out, <laughs> they said, the stone the builder rejects becomes the head conopole. That very person that they thought, <laughs> and it sort of gives me a feeling of David and Goliath because here you have the powers that be which is the uk press known throughout the world as being ruthless sort of <laughs> the way that they go about people um the way that they go about um weaponizing information whether they um they got it Ill illegally or legally against different individuals is incredible when i say weaponizing information i mean like for example they would try to get people's medical records and once they get that through obviously um, illegal tactics they would use that against people to expose them or literally use it to sort of force them to do things that they don't want to do so, <laughs> It's incredible how somebody can dictate your life in this day and age. But the UK press has been able to do that. They're doing that with the royal family. And, um, you know, so here Megan is coming from the United States and able to stand up to the UK press um, and stand up to the royal family. It's just incredible. That's the reason why I'm thinking it's a David and Goliath situation, because you know in the past that is what the um the uk press has done blackmail people 
destroy them, you know, and um, bring them to their knees. But they didn't do it to Harry and Meghan. Instead, Harry and Meghan, they're standing up like the Davids. <laughs> and you know how that story goes. They end up winning in the end. So that is what that comes to mind. But anyways, enough of my chatter. Let's listen to the trailer and then we'll break down some of the... Um, you know, some of what was said in the trailer, the quotes of the different individuals. And um, let me just start off before I go into that. I forgot to say Netflix um, said that there were going to be two volumes, volume one, which was going to be on December 8th. And I'm assuming that this volume will have three episodes because um there is a total of six episodes so volume one will have three episodes which comes out on december 8th and volume two will also have um three episodes which comes out on december 15th so <laughs> it's just going to be really really powerful to listen to and um at the same time bittersweet as i said so let's just um let's um watch the video It's really hard to look back on it now and go, what on earth happened? You hear that? That is the sound of hearts breaking all around the world. She's becoming a royal rock star. And then everything changed. There's a hierarchy of the family. You know, there's leaking, but there's also planting of stories. There was a war against Meghan to suit other people's agendas. It's about hatred. It's about race. It's a dirty game. The pain and suffering of women marrying into this institution, this feeding frenzy. I realized they're never going to protect you. I was terrified. I didn't want history to repeat itself. No one knows the full truth. We know the full truth. You know, before um, Harry got married to uh, Meghan or before they, they got married to each other, we definitely saw, saw some of the negativity, you know, the name calling, referring to Meghan as almost like a hood rat, you know, as somebody that's coming from the wrong side of tongue, uh, you know, or coming from the ghettos or, you know, in in america so they had already started before harry and Meghan got married so it's not really um what on earth happened is it was set up it was designed that way so we started seeing it from the get-go and i had a video and i had said make no mistake that even though the royal family looked like they were welcoming Meghan, they absolutely did not welcome Megan. They were all pretending it was all a show and Megan was the sacrificial lamb for that family. Um, Harry also said um, there's a hierarchy of the royal family and um, there's licking but there's also planting stories. Wow, wow, wow. Planting stories. They lick Obviously, we're not surprised about that because we all, even in the Sussex squad on Twitter, we had this little thing going about talking about my palace source. So every time we said something, we would say our oh, palace source. So we knew there was a lot of lick, but the idea of planting stories, that is next level there, planting stories. Also, we had Bowsey, Christopher Bowsey, who said, you know, everything that Megan experienced, literally, it's about hatred and it's about race. You know, here comes this, you know, um, a biracial um, girl taking away, you know, this white prince and they hated Megan for it. So, um Yes, so um, Bowsy has been very, very good in terms of cleaning up the, um, well, not cleaning up, but locating all those um, 
Twitter accounts and social media accounts that has plagued the internet with, you know, spreading lies about Megan and and so on. So he's done an excellent job at exposing them and some of them literally he helped get off um social media because of the abuse and the spread of um misinformation about Megan. So he's been very, very good at doing that. And um his company is called um Butt Sentinel. He's the founder and CEO. So kudos to um Christopher Bowsey. He's in the um docu series and um yeah so um in the end um Harry did say um it's a dirty um game and um every woman that comes into this institution the royal family has um suffered you know and um he said it's a feeding frenzy definitely it's their meal ticket as i said um if it wasn't for megan some of these people would not be able to pay their bills so the fit and frenzy that um <laughs> it's like barracudas it's like i don't know it's it is a freedom fit and frenzy because if it wasn't for these people over there they would not be um able to pay their bills such abuse though um and megan said that you know they they realized that they weren't going to be protected by the royal family because as i said megan and harry were the sacrificial lamb you know um they had their heir and they had their spare harry was the spare so let's throw the spare out there to rot and to you know to get all the <laughs> put him in the line of fire you know um to save the monarchy and to save different people so that was um you know n nothing new for me but something that you know that is nice to let other people know for sure um because you know as long as um <laughs> I, well 6 years now we've been following Harry and Meghan and um you know all of those things we've looked at and analyzed and came to a conclusion about and harry said i was terrified i didn't want history to repeat itself no one knows the full story we know the full story so definitely um he's talking about his mother here you know how his mother died at such a young age 36 and left him an orphan and he doesn't want this to happen to his um his to his wife and have his children to not have a mother like oh he did not have a mother so i definitely agree with him and who would want to stay in none of these conditions knowing what has happened who wants to repeat that type of history i wouldn't so um he did what he had to do to take care of his uh, of his family and that's what a real man does you know guys on that note take care and um we'll talk more there's a lot to come um we have the um ripple award um coming up and we have hopefully on the same day we're gonna have the people's choice award and <laughs> so much is happening and on the, if we have our first docuseries um episodes and then we have um shortly after that 15th is another volume and then we have spare so so much and i'm happy i'm feeling much better i'm able to speak this evening and um you know my son made me a beautiful cup of ginger and lemon tea that definitely cleared up a lot of the um hoarseness that was in my in my voice so I'm happy about that. Have a nice day, guys. Take care. Be safe. Bye.